Hello and welcome back to headquarters. Today we're going to jump back into day two of Survive the Nights. Uh, let's go. All right, welcome back. Today we're jumping into day two of uh, Survive the Night series. So we're going to continue with the series uh, while this loads up or whatever. I'm going to give you a little information. Last time we started the day one of the series, we're doing 30 minute videos, give or take. It's a 30 minute daylight cycle on the day of the game. Uh, everything else is set completely default. So that's just default loot spawns, default enemies, default everything. The only difference is, like I said, is it's a 30 minute daylight cycle. And that's so I can just record the full 30 minutes and then upload the video, minimal editing so you can watch the whole thing. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this series. If you do, let me know down in the comment section. If you don't, if you think I should change something, make the videos longer, shorter, blah, blah, blah. Just let me know that too. And then we'll uh, change it up as we go. I did get some positive feedback on the last one. People are saying that they kind of like it. So who knows? Maybe this is a good idea. We'll see. It's already got 50, 60 views, something like that, which is really cool. I'm also thinking about making another Blender tutorial video uh, because Blender has had several updates since the last one almost a year ago. Um, and so I'm pretty sure if I do another video, it's going to be a short 10, 15 minute just to kind of give you guys the updates and kind of what's changed. There's some pretty cool features in Blender's video editing software now that makes it super easy. Uh, and in my opinion, one of the better free editors. So anyway, let's jump in. So we have, oh, got a punch real quick. So it's got a load, so it's a little glitchy right here at first. Okay, what do I have? Forgot, I haven't played this in a while. Yeah, so I've got a weapon that's about to break in half. Going through here. Don't have to punch the door, dude. Okay, so we got full health, almost full health. I need to drink something. So let's uh, do it. Oh god, that scared the hell out of me. That shadow is crazy. Let's see if we got any water. Looks like no water. Okay, we got mixed fruit. Don't really need to eat mixed fruit right now. We'll deal with the water as we go. We'll try to find some other stuff. Uh, well, yeah, let's take this combat knife. So everything spawns in this. Uh, it, all the spawns should be reset now that I have loaded back in. Search. Dirty water taken. Awesome. So I should be able to go purify this water on the fire if I have to. Seven circuit breakers in this house. This is the house so far that I claimed uh, with my sleeping bag, I believe. Yeah, so my sleeping bag's in this house. So we kind of got to remember... But it, the good thing is it says right on the map now uh, where your base is. So that's super cool. And so, yeah, we have a base in Addersfield. Shut the damn door, please. And so I don't have a, a unwanted visitor. There you go. Okay, well, let's get started, I guess. Let's go out here. Uh-oh. Okay, you jerk. Do I not have... Yeah, my baseball bat. Do I have one with nails? No. Head stab in the head. There we go. Good thing is I'm still by the fire, so I'm still getting the health from that. Okay, let's uh, figure out what we're going to do here. I want my baseball bat. Can I? Oh, my baseball bat's at 5%. Damn. That sucks. Oh, that sucks too. It's probably going to break any second. Alright. I don't really need any more canned food at the moment. So we're kind of strictly looking for like water or better weapons. Um, oh, cleaning kit. That's actually really good. Uh, so I can clean my pistol now. What is that? Java cake on oh, rice box. Stop punching things, you idiot. So I was talking to myself, by the way, when I said stop punching things, you idiot. This is the event going on right now, and I haven't done one yet. Now Christmas is going to be over pretty soon, but you can only do it at night. So, that kind of stinks. I'm going to run around for a second just to get all these guys behind me. Get this one guy so far. There we go. So, let's... Hi. Hi, how are you? Okay. Yeah, my health is going down pretty fast. Stab stabbing you, idiot. I might die right off the get-go here. Jeez. I'm going to have to go in here and heal up real quick. 
that's not a good sign. So this is the pharmacy, which is actually really good. They have tons and stuff in here. So let's see if we can find some awesome gauze wrap. We'll be using that in a second. Both these things. Bandages. And they actually marked almost all the important stuff on the map now, which is super sweet. Let's see here. Let's look at the map. Yeah, so they marked the pharmacy, which is where I am at right now. And they mark gas stations, hardware stores, car lots, which are just full of cars. And then they even mark the gun stores, which is super awesome. Because then if you're ever in question as to how close you are to something, you'll know. It also makes it easier to identify things on the map without having like a compass to know where you are. So, sweet. We do it. Uh, it's a water bottle, so I can't use it on a fire. Let's use some stuff here. Uh, don't need to use the whole first aid kit. There we go. Uh, so we're going to try to avoid some contact if we can while also still searching stuff. So um, We're probably unfortunately going to have to do a similar thing unless we just get super lucky. Um with how we had to handle the night last night on this game if you watched the first video you'll know what i'm talking about um where we had to kind of hide in a garage because we were very underprepared and so we hid in one of the safety garages uh the garages what i mean by that is the garages where you can't be attacked um machete that might be better than what i'm using right now not 23 percent you guys are trying to mess me up, huh? Yeah, they haven't patched this yet. So, they can't attack you. If you stand at this end, they'll run over here instead of over there. I just turn the desktop audio down a little bit. So you can kind of use this as like a little glitch deal. But... But they have to kind of be standing in the right spot for you to be able to hit them too. But if you move, then they'll run around. But if you stand right here, they come right back. So. Water bottle. Drop of cakes. Empty can. Drop of cakes. There we go. Sweet. I like that they kind of refined the headshot damage. That makes things a lot easier in the game also. Okay, that's super fucking handy right there. Awesome. So let's, uh, what's this? A wedge. So let's see. Oh, that's a 36. But we've got plenty of ammo. And I do have that cleaning kit, which we are going to use because we have plenty of ammo for it. So cleaning kit, use. Awesome. I think we're gonna try to do the police station because that will get us set up with weapons and ammo for a while. Um, there's my house and my house is so close to it uh, that if I die, I'll just spawn right there, which will be really good. So let's, uh, yeah, why don't we take out some of these guys? Oh yeah, I forgot. This doesn't have to be a headshot to one-shot kill. So, we do have to have a generator. Uh, oh no, we don't have to have a generator for this. We just have to have fuel. Hopefully there's a fuel can down there. Sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. Um, we could run over to the gas station real quick. Yeah, we're going to do that. Reload. We'll run over to the gas station. We'll see if there's a gas can there. I might even have one. Uh, we'll see if there's a siphon, if I can turn the pumps on something. We just got to have at least 20 fuel to load up the uh, generator that's in the police station. Then, uh, yeah, we'll try to do the police station in this episode. And we'll see if we die on day two. I don't know how long this episode's going to go for. Um, I, w I would say until we die, but then I don't want to say that because then I'll die in this and I want to make more episodes in just two. So... 
uh, yeah. So we'll see. I'll take that one out. I don't think I have a siphon. Missing siphon, yeah. Jesus Christ. I don't know why I took the light bulb, didn't really need it. Jesus, did I get them both? Nice, I did. With a headshot too. Uh, we'll take the combo lock. Even though we are currently playing in solo, so I don't have to worry about people stealing my stuff. Um, which is good. What's in there? Just cardboard. Alright, so let's go see if there's either a siphon or some more gas cans. I don't know how much fuel was in the one I just picked up. We're going to take all the car parts for now, also. Um, just because we may eventually need some of these to get us a car. The police truck is in there. The police truck normally has quite a bit of uh, stuff attached to it, so we won't need a lot, hopefully. But who knows? You never know. So let's uh, scrap metal. Actually, we're going to take the scrap. You can turn empty cans into scrap also, but I'm not going to waste my time with that. We'll take the clean cloth also. Uh, what's in there? Sweet. We'll take both of those. Uh, clean cloth make bandages and stuff with that and then just the scrap metal so we're almost full on weight we're not going to want to go in the police station when we're full on weight um i would like oh shit well, that was awful stupid um it would be nice to set up my house a little bit better with storage but i really want to just go try to take the the damn police station so i have a jerry cam but i don't have a siphon and i don't believe you can craft a siphon yet no so we have 11 that will get the gas sta or i mean the police station uh up and running so we can at least get some stuff out of it i don't know how much ammo we have left yeah we got 37 and 6 in the mag so and we're already in afternoon so if we're gonna do it we gotta do it quick i should have avoided these guys it looks like you get a little boost when you hit this yeah it looks like you get just a little quick boost that's funny Someone told me there was a way to glitch into the police station, like into that area, but there's no no purpose of glitching into it when you have to have it on to to do anything. So. Jinkies. Oh, that was just a mess. Oh, well, I was hoping to kind of do a little melee thing there, but it didn't work. Oh shit. There we go. I I depend on the melee once in a while and it bites me in the ass. See? Like I didn't really need the melee then. What? Jesus. That's one thing about the uh, police station. It is so loud. I am going to search these guys just quickly because they may have ammo that one guy in there had two rounds on him all right so weapon full nothing cardboard nothing okay so it's so loud in my headphones i don't know if it's too loud for y'all scrap metal and wood 38 well all these rooms are full of zombies and so this can bite us in the ass pretty fast if we're not careful. Might be an enemy up here I missed. No. Nothing. Okay. So let's, uh, before we run in there, all half cocked, let's uh, heal real quick. Yeah, we'll use that. There we go. Oh, hi, how are you? What? The offering has been secured. Bitch. Okay. Part of me would like to make the days a little longer, but then the videos will be longer, and I don't want that. Holy shit. That was crazy. Nothing. Oh, okay, one three oh eight round. We're not going to... Yeah, we'll take this crap. I didn't really unload anything from my person. So we're going to run out of space pretty quick. I could always put something in some of these if I had to. 
Can't get in here yet because we gotta turn the power on. Hardboard. Oh, a machete. We're definitely taking that. And uh, we need one breaker. It's okay. We won't blow the base panel. I've only got 28 rounds left. Uh, damn it. We don't have an extension cord either. I was wondering if we weren't going to have one. Okay. Well, then we're going to have to go find us an extension cord. Which sucks. Because I don't think I have one. No items. Yeah. Okay. we got to go find an extension cord. That'll give us an opportunity to drop off some of our stuff, but we got to be fast because we're already at 5 p.m. We're going to have our horde in just a little while. And I don't really want to fuck with the horde while I'm in the police station. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what that's all about. We're going to switch over to our machete. We got that machete, and then we got this machete. So, we're going to switch back over to our shit machete. This is the garage I was talking about right here. So when we get a little cricket or a car of some kind, we're going to put it in there. I found out in the last episode, though, that you cannot put um, a campfire inside there, which ruined a lot of my plans. Um, just because that's the easiest place to hide out and not die. I had someone ask me what would be a good... Uh, like if I could make a video on... A good base you know like base building and things like that um, and in one of my in my uh, one of my videos I touched on it kind of slightly I didn't really get into it um, but in my opinion the best bases to make are houses that are connected to those um, to those two car garages that you can't I mean you can't be attacked in they can't bust down the garage doors or anything like that and so that makes it really nice then again, if you don't want to play kind of, I mean, in a sense, that's kind of the cheap way of playing. Because uh, then you just can't die, you know, in those anyway. I should just keep both of these and just use this one until it breaks. So I'll have that one. I'm going to put both hammers in here because I don't need the hammers. Uh, I'm not going to end up using the combat knives because I got machetes. I'm just going to go ahead and put a hacksaw in here. Uh, yeah, I don't need the can opener or the wedge. I'll keep the compass just in case. Um, which I don't really actually, I lied. I'm not going to keep the compass. It makes no sense to have. Um, and then we're going to put, oh, here, we'll do this real quick. Dirty water taken. Hopefully that dirty water was taken in the, in, nope, not in the canteen. That's lame. Canteen fill. There we go. Canteens you can purify on, um, these like this but in the bottles you can't you actually have to have purification tablets which if you don't have you can't obviously can't do this only holds eight the ovens do but that'll be enough to hold our car parts um there we go i will put our batteries in there too i don't know do i have a headlamp see no headlamp. Yeah, I don't even have a headlamp. So, um, the worst thing is, yeah, I'm kind of risking a lot here, but I guess we're going to do it anyway because it's nighttime now. Damn, I really wanted to do that by morning, but it looks like it's not going to happen. Take that for now. Oh yeah, these guys are super pissed now. Um, and so we're probably going to have to just go live out the night in the... Yeah. I think we are we got set up to take the prison. I mean, the, god damn, I keep saying prison. The police station, we're probably just going to go have to survive the night in the garage which if that's the case i'm just going to cut that whole thing out because i literally just stand there while i try to survive um and then by what time is it now it's 9 p.m and i like to get off the game holy shit you scared the hell out of me yeah now my horde's here so we're gonna do that right effing now because uh as soon as my horde gets here it's a level 15 now that's the worst thing is, is i played this game so much before i started a series like this and now that I've started a series like this, my hordes are all level 15. And so that is very, very, very scary. 
So we'll wait. So morning's approaching. And uh, we didn't. We haven't killed a single zombie tonight yet. Yeah, it's 5 a.m. So morning will be here. I think. It, I think it, it's 7 a.m. is when night's over. And so, uh, yeah, we haven't killed any zombies, um, just because I can't handle a level 15 horde right now with my guy the way he is. And I don't want to lose, just die and lose everything. Um, and so, uh, for the first couple episodes, until we get set up enough to where I think I could take a horde, which eventually we're gonna just risk dying anyway, but. Until we can get set up to where we know we can possibly take order right now. I've got a machete and a rifle with 22 rounds. Um, and so we're going to just hold out and not uh, not worry about that for the time being. And then we will start taking on hordes as we go. I would like to figure out if you can like reset your hordes down to like level 1. Because I would really like to do this series from a level 1 horde. But I don't know. If anybody knows if you can do that or how to do that, if, if you can, we let me know. Um, and then it will go from there. If you can't, no big deal. I'll just deal with it the way it is. But that would be really cool. Anything short of like uninstalling the game and losing progress and things, which there's no progress to lose, I guess, in a survive the nights. But still. So we have got, yeah, it's officially morning. I'm gonna wait until the thing says horde failed because otherwise, if I walk out there, I'm afraid I'm just gonna get my head ripped off. Let's see what time. It should be. Should I just risk it? If I have to, maybe I'll have to run around for a second. Oh, well. Okay, there's nothing out here yet. So, let's let's spend the rest of this quick morning getting the rest of the way set up for... to do the prison in, or police station in the next episode. Um, if we can do the police station in the next episode, I'll be happy. So, my health increased, so that's going to help us a little bit. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? So, and then I think we're going to spend an episode fortifying this house, because I think this is the house we're going to kind of stick with, being it's right next to that. It's got an actual fireplace, which I like these so much better. Um, and so let's spend the rest of the morning getting set up until until the 10 o'clock marker when we end the video. Um, yeah, so what else could we do? We could... we got to get an extension cord, so why don't we look in a few of these houses... Out here to see if there's an extension cord. None there. Let's wander around. Could be one in some of these too. I don't think these ones have. Yeah, these ones have individual. Individual deals as far as I know. I'm going to have to get a headlamp or something. Because I can't hardly see. I don't know where this one would even be. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably going to be in that last building. Oh, shit. I didn't realize you were still alive. What do you got here? Reinforced bar. That is actually handy because that's not something you can make. Um, but I'm not going to take it anyway. These are breakers, yeah. And so we are going to take one of those because we do need a breaker for the, um, for the police station anyway. Uh, here's this. Let's see if there's an extension cord. Oh, damn. Might be one at the end of this big building. Wander around, see if we can find one before the end of the episode. Whoa! That was crazy, huh? Okay. Okay, what's all your problems? All of a sudden, you guys are super aggroed on? Psychopaths. Now I'm unarmed. Put that other machete back on. Or other machete on, not back on. Uh, take the last couple things that's in here. Thought there was one more. Yeah, another antiseptic. Then we'll heal up real quick and we'll push on. Well, can't heal up because I don't have any of my medical supplies. Yeah, I do. What are you, what are you talking about? No, I don't. That's okay. MRE, we're gonna take that. Whoa, shit, you chicken fucker. Scared the hell out of me. I should actually take some of these. Uh, I'm, t I'm definitely taking the MREs. I should take some of this food stuff. Um, because now that we actually are gonna stick with a house, it would be nice to just stock the house up with food. Um, so we are going to just loot while we're out and about. We It is 8 a.m., so we're gonna have to get back pretty soon. Beef stew? Yeah, come on, grab grab the beef stew. So, 
seven. Make us a bandage if we have to. I'm at 50 HP. I don't really want to die. So let's see here. Extension cord? Nope. Damn. All right. Well, let's wander around and check these buildings. There's some houses over here. We're going to go check real quick. See if they have extension cords. There's a Jeep over there. I wonder how far that is from being repaired. So, oh, there's a cricket right there. No extension cord. Uh, how far is the cricket needing? Cricket's almost repaired, actually. We're going to take all this stuff. Uh, I don't have the damn gas can with me. Nothing in the garage. I don't think I've ever found a rig in a garage, like spawned in a garage. So. Go over here and check this house. Uh, you're not close. Well, we might have to. Yeah, it's nine. Might have to just run home and pick up on this next time. I, I would like to get the police station taken care of so we can get some weapons and ammo. Like to get us a vehicle. Um, and then we'll go from there and kind of see what we can do in this game. No. So, yeah, let's just run home. We'll call it a, uh, call it a day. And then uh, go from there, I suppose. Had to kill that guy. He was running a little fast. So we're going here. We'll log off to our sleeping bag and we'll call it a day there. I think you can just... Yeah, now I can just go... Oh, wrong button. Quit. In general. What does that mean? General. Oh, there we go to menu. Okay. That's going to end the video. And so, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to just record a few of these at a time. Uh, that way I can just kind of keep them uploading as I go. So if one of them is uploaded a little bit later, and so you still notice that there's Christmas stuff, it's because I have to kind of upload them and stagger them out. My Wi-Fi has been acting super strange. Well, we got like, if you watch any of the, the shorts that I uploaded on my YouTube uh, channel, You'll see we got a little over a foot of snow over about two days, a day and a half, two days. And so our roads are super iced up. The little small town that we live in, people are constantly hitting power poles like they aim for them. And then the, I mean, it's just not safe for us to even leave our house. And so we're kind of stuck in the house, power and everything's flickering on and off. I tried to record two videos and the power flickered about the time one of them was ending and the other one was about halfway done when, with me recording. And I lost both full content just out the door. Uh, it wasn't Survive the Nights. It was actually another game. I'm not going to ruin the surprise for that game yet. But anyway, so yeah, I lost a little bit of stuff. And then I can't edit when the power flickers. It just ruins editing that I've been doing. So it's it, it puts a big strain on a lot of things. Um, but I'm going to continue to upload even if it has to be something from my cell phone where I can just upload a short real quick to let you guys know what's going on. So yeah, keep up with the channel. Like, subscribe, comment, normal YouTube stuff. So uh, anyway, yeah, have a good day and I will see you next time.